One of my favorite things about March Madness is just how I discover new players every single year. There are so many college teams, it's impossible to know all the players on every team like you could try to do in the NBA. And being an NBA and NBJ projection type of channel, I know everyone on my Wolverines team and almost everyone that's projected to be in the draft the upcoming year. But in the tournament, there's always guys I don't know much about and that just absolutely pop off on the screen for me. And I step back and say, Wow, this kid is special. And this year, this player is hands down Dejan Giroux, the 6'5 guard out of Houston. Currently, he has led his team to a Final Four appearance against Baylor, but if you're watching this in the future, he may be a national champion. Or not, regardless, that's not the point. He is everything you'd want in a point guard. And if you saw the thumbnail already, then you know he reminds me a lot of Rondo. The Lakers won the championship last year and LeBron won the finals MVP. Anthony Davis had a fantastic playoffs. But my take is the Lakers still would have won, but they would have lost some key games if it wasn't for Rondo. This is the kind of impact I see Dejan having on a team. I love to go in depth with players scoring and trust me, we will get to this, but we have to start with his defense first with this guy. Because because he is the best defensive player on the third best defensive team in the nation. He will clamp you up and everyone he guards struggles to get anything going on offense. It's constant pressure and he's getting steals, blocks, deflections, denying the ball. And when you can get a shot up, it's going to be heavily contested. And being a 6'5 point guard can make you really flexible to guard one through three. The other comparison I kind of have for him is a more athletic, better shooting, but smaller Draymond Green. He's long, has amazing lateral quickness, great timing on blocks, great anticipation, and can guard the perimeter and when guards drive the ball. This makes him a great individual defender, but his experience and basketball IQ makes him a great team defender as well. So now we're going to be moving on to his offensive side of the game, and he doesn't really have a certain theme or a certain way he likes to score the ball. He's a very diverse, and he's just always in attack mode looking to make the right play. There's a lot of players you'll see out there that you just know they're trying to drive or they're trying to get to their sweet spot for mid-range range or wiggle their way around screens to get it off the ball three-pointer. But Giroux, I've watched him in this tournament in a few games from the regular season. He just seems to play at a super high energy, always in attack mode looking for the weak spot as he goes. If he sees a lane, he is not afraid to go and take it but he's always just looking to make the defense collapse so he can kick it out or dump it to his center. And his unselfishness and the chaos he creates amongst the defense can lead to a ton of offense that won't even show up on the stat sheet, what we like to call hockey assists. When it comes to his shooting, he's okay from outside. It's hard to say it's a pro or a con for him because he's low volume, kind of streaky, shoots about 35%, which is good, but it's something he's definitely gonna need to work on at the next level because I think NBA teams will be able to exploit his lack of shooting a lot better better than college teams can. That being said, he does have what Rondo has, and that's the ability to hit timely shots. Although not notorious for shooting, they both step up when the lights are the brightest and with no hesitation, pull it and often make the very important shots. He's also the main ball handler for Houston. He's super comfortable with the ball in his hand. He's a very good dribbler and very good at controlling the pace because he is always aware of the score, the time remaining, the momentum of the game, and this allows Houston to pull away, push the pace, break open the lead, or if they're down, get in a solid half court set, slow down, run a play and stop the bleeding. I mean, this is all you could ask for in a point guard. And this is why Rondo has been so sought after and why he's been a huge piece to multiple championship teams. And like I mentioned earlier, they're both decent shooters, but what Dejan has that Rondo doesn't is just size. This size allows him to make blocks, grab rebounds and steals that Rondo couldn't imagine doing. So even though he is an all around very solid point guard who can get a triple double at the college level, which one is insanely hard to do. He averages 10.8 points, five and a half rebounds, four and a half assists, and these numbers don't even reflect the impact he has on a game. I do have a major concern with him though and that is he is very consistent. I know that that sounds kind of weird, but the consistency is a good thing. You want a reliable player you can count on, but what I'm talking about is consistency from year to year. I just really haven't seen the improvement I've wanted to see when I look back at old game film. He's a senior right now. He played one year at UMass and the last three for Houston, and he's just always been this kind of player. He's right across the board. All of his stats are just pretty much the exact same. 
and this should worry me a little bit just because this is the player's window to grow exponentially is at college when they're like 18 to 22 and even though he's a very good player he hasn't shown the growth year to year that I would want to see so in conclusion I see Dejan really not being a starter or a first round I see him going in a second round pick not starting right away he might be a starter in the NBA one day can develop his shot but what I see him is Rondo and he is going to be the reason teams win a lot of games he's going to do all the right things and he's going to probably bounce around from team to team because there's always going to be a team that's going to pay extra to want to have him and just be I just see him being a backup point guard on a contending team I could be wrong he could be a lot better than that but from what I've seen so far that's kind of where I'm at it's just the outside shot concerns me and you really need that from a guard at this point in the NBA thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video make sure to leave a like it helps out the channel a ton it helps it grow and if you want to see content like this every single day make sure to subscribe it really helps out a lot leave a comment what you think of him and what you predict the final four is going to end up being my Wolverines just lost like 15 minutes ago still getting over it I'm very sad so I'm going to go cry by myself I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.